When we consider a relationship between a supplier and a customer, a customer business perhaps, we consider how transactional or collaborative this is and where on the spectrum it might be. Now there's many different dimensions to this and ways that it materialises. Let's look at them. So a transactional relationship is, well, just that, quite impersonal, quite distant. I pay you money, you give me stuff. Whereas a relational, collaborative relationship would be very close with a lot of connection. It's a lot deeper and maybe you have to work together to really fulfil that service or product contract between the two businesses. A transactional relationship between a customer and supplier might change quite often. Even though you need to buy uh, nuts and bolts very often, you might chop and change between many different suppliers to suit you at the time. Whereas in a true collaborative relationship, it'd be very rare and changes of suppliers would be much, much less frequent. In a transactional relationship, probably the primary criteria in selecting a supplier would be based on cost. Whereas in a deeper relational, collaborative relationship, it would be on, on other things, the fit between their business and yours and their capabilities are far more important. When it comes to contracts in a transactional one, well, it might be very strict. It will specify very exactly what has to be done, by when, at what price, and what, what if uh, things go wrong. There's not a lot of trust. And because each party knows they're working on the short term, it needs to be specified up front. Now, this is nice and clean, but many businesses' relationships just can't work like that. First of all, it's very expensive to make these contracts and businesses need some flexibility. So with more trust and a more collaborative partner, agreements can be more tacit. You can share intentions of what you need and the other party trusts that you will work it out together. This trust is also crucial when it comes to sharing information. If two businesses share information with each other, they'll probably both do better from it. I'm talking both intellectual property. Maybe you share the details of your design with your supplier so their engineers, if you're manufacturing something, can give their input on how the design of your product would best suit the things that they can make. But you have to trust them. You don't want them taking your idea and running off and selling it to one of their other customers. So in transactional relationships, very little is shared. Also, we could be looking at sharing forecast information. In a transactional relationship, you're only looking at working together with each other in the short term, or at least you know you could end it like that and find another one. So there's little interest in sharing that kind of information either. With a long-term partner, well, it's in your interests because you trust them, to share a lot of your forecast information, your expectations and desires for the market so that again, you can work better together. So if we think of a couple of examples when you as an individual have either transactional interactions with another business or a more collaborative, a more relational one. Well, a transactional one might be something like buying petrol, buying gas. I have money, you have gas, let's swap, easy. I don't care who you are, I know you're all basically the same, I care about the price, I want it now, and I will switch to whoever the hell I want, whenever I want. Maybe it's the same if you're buying a cup of coffee. Oh, I hope you're not a coffee snob. So I know some people feel very strongly about their particular coffee that only their favourite boutique shop can make. I just want the caffeine. Maybe an example of a more relational purchase with a, a business might be your barber, your hairdresser. I know there's any number of people who can take my money and make my hair shorter, but perhaps I have a favourite and I like catching up with my man Dave. So there's a bit more to our relationship than just exchanging money for his wares. 
Perhaps this is also the same if you have a personal trainer. Anyone could say, do some press-ups, but the relationship becomes an important part of it. We could look at also like our technology choices. Are you an Android person or an Apple person? Now, perhaps you don't have too much of a personal interaction with your favourite Apple customer service representative, but you have a much deeper connection with that brand, that entity. And these technology businesses love it. It doesn't cost them too much extra to have the personal interaction. It's not really a personal interaction. And for these technology companies, that kind of deeper connection is fantastic for them. So, any supplier-customer relationship can be on that spectrum, from extreme transactional to extreme collaborative. Both have their places, or somewhere in the middle, 